Yo, what up guys? Uh, it's Legali here. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Reverse Gravity Ignition Sword, which is kind of a new a new build for Igniter that was uh, discovered through uh, Hell Mode players. And this actually uh, improves upon the existing Ignition playstyle by cutting out Inferno, which is uh, not a very useful skill, and bringing in Reverse Gravity. So I'll talk about a few of the, the, the pros and cons of this build. But, uh, and we'll go over whether you should uh, decide on uh, whether you want to make the swap or not. So the first thing uh, this build requires is the Nightmare set. Uh, some of you guys have been playing Hallucination Ignition, which has, you know, more consistency, higher crit rate. It's a Saint's favorite build. But this uh, Ignition build with Reverse Gravity has a very, very high ceiling because it takes advantage of cycling magic addiction and boundless mana you're basically toggling between the two uh uh the two relics uh relic set effects in order to maximize your meter gen and damage okay so obviously one of the biggest cons of this build is uh the fact that you have to be in melee range uh 90 of the time and that's because reverse gravity is going to be your second biggest uh, wealth meter gen skill now. And you have to be in melee range. So it can be very uh, troublesome to play this build, especially if you're new to ignition or you're new to a raid. This build is uh, very, very advanced. That's why I recommend it mainly for advanced players who already have very deep knowledge of the raid, okay? This is like probably one of the worst prog builds on Sork uh, to date. So I'm going to go over the rotation really quickly uh, and we'll talk about, you know, what requirements you have, but all you need for this build is a uh, level seven cooldown gems and then a level eight cooldown gem on Doomsday if you're playing a uh, spec crit. And if you're playing spec swift, which is, you know, the more budget build, you only need a level seven cooldown gem on Doomsday. Okay, so we're going to start off by being in the magic addiction state. Um, you're going to cast your blaze first for synergy and then uh uh you can pay attention to how i, I cast the skills so we're gonna use doomsday primarily space for cancel ignite esoteric reverse gravity and after you use your rhyme arrow you should be in boundless mana state you're gonna cast your second doomsday inside of the boundless mana window okay so that's the the ignition rotation. And you should see that uh you're in boundless mana as soon as you cast um by the time you cast your second dooms that you should be in the boundless mana window, right? And you might be thinking um you know, why do you want to cast your doom second dooms inside of the boundless mana? It's going to get uh reduced damage, right? And the reason is because a lot of the times supports are going to be buffing only the in initial ignition cast right your first uh you know as soon as you go into ignite they're going to buff your first doomsday and the uh, the initial skills that follow a lot of the times the second doomsday is not going to be buffed and that's uh including if you're going to be using atropines it doesn't last long enough because your entire ignition window is 15 seconds but atro is only 10. so we're going to try to cast the second doomsday inside of boundless mana to get the reduced cooldown and that's because um, when you're inside of Boundless Mana, you're going to be able to regain your Ignition meter 30% faster, guys. It's going to be 30% faster than a uh, standard uh, Ignition Sword. So I'll show it again, guys. And keep in mind that after your Ignition, uh, before your Ignition ends, you don't want to use Frost Call until after it ends, because it's primarily going to be used for meter gen, okay? So, ignition ends and we immediately frost call inside of the boundless mana window. You're just going to spam all your skills off cooldown here. And you'll see by th this frost call, we're already going to be inside of, you know, we're going to be finished with our ignition and we can instantly cast and go again and just repeat the cycle you guys can see like how fast it uh rebuilds your uh igniter right 
It's really, really fast. Yeah. But you want to make sure your uh, second Doomsday is casted inside of Boundless for the, the redu uh, reduced cooldown, right? Okay. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Honestly, uh, yeah, if you play this build, you kind of have to play Adrenaline because um, you're playing Nightmare Set, which is heavily re reliant on crit rate. And I'll go over some. Uh, I'll go over the skill build real quick. So you're gonna be swapping out um, your Blaze Damage Gem as well as your Frost Call Damage Gem because you're gonna be dropping both of these skills to level seven. So for this build, you're gonna be running Reverse Gravity Cooldown and Damage Gem in place of those two gems. As for the skills, uh, this is the skill build. You're gonna be running Blaze at level seven with a Charge Flame Tripod. Uh, Frost Call remains the same. You're going to be running it at level 8 and dropping the Enhanced Strike Tripod. As for all of your other skills, they're going to be maxed out at 12. Um, you're going to take off the Mind Enhancement Tripods because you need to... You don't want to reduce the mana cost on Punishing Strike and Explosion because you're going to be using these two skills to enter um, a Boundless Mana faster. Because if you have the mana reduction tripods, you're not going to be able to enter Boundless mana fast enough for your second Doomsday to be casted inside of Boundless, okay? And then uh, everything else is basically the same. Reverse Gravity tripods are going to be Quick Prep, Maxed, Electric Attack Area. This is going to be level 5 as well. And we point Detection at level 5. As always, if you guys have any questions about this build, you can uh, catch my stream at twitch.tv slash Lagalia. I stream every day for 10 hours minimum at 2 p.m. EST. All right. Peace, guys.